This video is part one on a series of videos that will look at the structural concept of shell structures using Rhino. The first type of shell structure that we will look at is a cylindrical shell. So we'll start out by drawing in elevation. So let's type C plane, enter, and we're going to look at world front. Now the grid in this file has been set up for 10 foot by 10 foot and then the major grid lines are 50 feet by 50 feet. So I'm going to start by drawing a circle. I'm going to bring out my circle toolbar and I'm going to use circle diameter and I'm going to create a circle with a diameter of 50 feet. Okay, so we're going to use a half circle for the cylindrical shell. So I can draw an arc or I can trim this circle. I'm going to go ahead and trim this circle since we already have it. I'll draw a line and along the x-axis and we'll use the command trim. Okay. Now we'll offset this half circle, which will be the thickness of our shell. And for right now, we'll just offset it two feet. What I need is a closed shape. So I can use that line we drew along the x-axis to close this shape. So I can use my trim command, select my cutting objects, Now I need to join all of these lines together to be a closed polyline. So I can select all of them and type in join. It's important to look up here where it says four curves joined into one closed curve. And we're going to extrude this curve. So let's extrude curve. and we can extrude this 300 feet. Okay. And now based on our tessellation tutorials, we can mirror this or copy it. Uh, I'll choose to mirror. And then we can mirror both of these. And there you have it. So this can be, you can think of this as a, uh, as a roof of a building. And we can make this a little bit more dynamic by creating a cylindrical, or not a cylindrical, but a cone shell. And what you need for a cone shell is you need two different in our case we're using circles or arcs we need two different arcs arcs with different radii so that we can use the loft command to create the surface between um, the two arcs so for now I'm gonna select this geometry and I'm gonna I'm gonna move it out of the way Okay, and we have, we have this arc, or half circle we'll call it. So we need one that is 300 feet away, that is a smaller radius. So I'm going to type in C plane, enter, world, top. And I'm going to draw some construction lines as guides. And I'll do those from the very ends of this half circle and this line should be 300 feet away I'll do the same on this end and I'll also draw one from the center I'll need a center point point. 
Okay, so this arc needs to be smaller. So I can use, this time I'll use a circle center radius. This will be the center. And I need to make this uh, a vertical circle. So I'll change my C plane back to world front. And so this one was this one was 50 feet, so I can make this one 35 feet. I can trim it. Offset it and then close it. close it using the trim command I can select these and join them together so now I have my two arcs and I can use loft to create the surface between the two of them. So I'll select both of them, type in loft, enter. Not too concerned with the direction at this point. Enter. Now sometimes when you create a loft, depending on if you created the planar curves in the same direction or not, you might have to align the curves. So let me show you how that works. If I click on align curves, you'll see a dot here to a dot here. So that's aligned. Sometimes, if I click on that, sometimes you'll get a result like that. Okay, and it's a loft. In this case, it looks like it's crisscrossing. So if this happens, um, you can click on the vertice and you can swap the alignment. Okay, I'll press enter since we're done. Okay, so this is a little bit more dynamic type of shell and we can tessellate this one. Now this one we have to um, copy and rotate it 180 degrees and then, uh, and then line that up. So let's go, this, this time we'll go to the left. I'll make a copy. I'm just going to copy it off to the side. I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees. Now I'm going to ro rotate it 180 degrees about the world Z. So I should make my C plane world top. And I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. And then I can line it up with the first one. Now, something I didn't see until I zoomed in is I did not cap this loft. And you see it's open. So that's easy in Rhino. I can type in the command cap, enter. And I can select that poly surface. And you see it closes off the end, which is important for 3D printing. And I'll do that again to this surface. Okay, so now we can um, tessellate this poly surface. I need to mirror about the center point. So now we have our uh, cylindrical shell. So two types of, sh of cylindrical shell. One, just using uh, one half circle that's continuous throughout the structure. And then one using two different radii. And you see a side view, actually. Uh, you can see that it's definitely a more dynamic form.